think it's kind of grimy. I, I really do. <laughs> well, it's an underground world that could lead to costly problems for homeowners. We're talking about the miles and miles of water and sewage pipes running underneath neighborhoods across the metro like this one right here in Royal Oak. Yeah, experts say the issue uh, resembles lasagna. It can be oh. found at every convenience store, but now Michigan stepping up to try to make sure the instigator is eliminated. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about the ever so popular but not so flushable wipes. Tonight, Pam Osborne shows us the damage these really cause. Pam. Yeah, and I have an example of what we're talking about right here. This is what Michigan lawmakers voted to get rid of. This says it's a flushable wipe. And if you look here in the corner, it says it breaks down like toilet paper. It's even plumber approved. Well, the plumber we spoke to said this may cost you about $5, but in the long run, if you flush it, it could cost you thousands. Even the most powerful flush can't make those flushable wipes disappear. They get into the system. If you got old pipes or even new pipes, um, you know, they're heavier than water, so they have a hard time getting through everything. Roto Rooter plumber John McKeever tells me he's seen his share of you know what, the worst of it. Probably at a doctor's office. 10 feet or more um, of a specific line was just jammed up with these things. He's had to come to the aid of desperate homeowners too because once a wipe clears the bowl, it doesn't take much for it to get stuck elsewhere. One will kind of just get hung up somewhere. You know, a lot of homes have old cast iron pipes. You know, cast iron after 50 years in the ground, it, it's got a rough texture. It's not the smoothest pipe ever anymore. My apologies in advance for the food reference. And it just take, you know, it's a cotton product, so it just gets snagged. And then you've got like a lasagna going on, you know, where like one thing will grab another and another and another. And next thing you know, you're backed up. And that could set you back hundreds, even thousands. He doesn't want that to happen to you. I'm big on like the little men, you know, being the consumers. It's already tough enough. He's hoping the new law requiring companies to package their wipes with do not flush text and symbols will help alleviate the problem for homeowners and municipalities. And those are really just the problems that it would cause you in your personal pipes at home. But imagine how much bigger this problems get when you look at a big city like Detroit, which, by the way, is running a PSA right now warning residents not to flush wipes like these down the toilet. We'll have much more on that tonight at 6. Kimberly, Devin? Not very flushable after all. All right, Pam. <laughs>